Welcome back to Mad Games Tycoon, and we will be continuing as Ubisoft, a company that is not at all based upon anything else that you might be thinking about. So, we are currently making Assassin's Promise RPG. I can't remember if we completed this game last time, uh, and if I just loaded an autosave. But let's let's check if we can improve anything. Now everything that can be improved is already done. The game doesn't have any bugs, so we're we're gonna release it once. And Blue Ocean, we have a good relation with them. They have a decent pocket strength, and their fan base is RPG. So we will be releasing that game now, and we got 61 percent. It's not bad, but it, 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 it's good enough. So. Let's check if we don't have any bank loans, and that's really nice. Meanwhile, people are continuing to license our engines. So we're gonna set up a training course. Basically, secret program techniques, and... Ooh, that's interesting. We could get legendary developers as well. Meanwhile, I think we are going to get some Ubisoft uh, contract work. However, I'm a bit... I don't know if we can actually make that in time. I'm kind of hoping, but I'm, I'm worried. I think I might be overstepping it here. I don't think they are going to get done. Not in time. Meanwhile, Assassin's Promise keeps selling well, but not well enough for us to recuperate our investment. And that is not a good thing, really. And we're going to lose that contract. Bugger it. We're gonna have to pay a penalty to ourselves for that one. So, 13 weeks for... Yeah, we're gonna take that one just to recuperate the loss from that failed contract. So, I'm gonna check the dev kits, see if there are any... There are, is the Sega Master Station? It doesn't have that much of a market share though, so I think we ignore it until the next one comes along. However, the upper muck is probably a good uh, one to get games for. Uh, because, uh, well, it's a Mac and we, we know that Macs are gonna be around for a while. But Assassin's Promise RPG was not a success. So, once the gameplay test is done, we're gonna release a sequel to a game. So we're gonna develop a sequel. Oh no, we might actually try uh, a remaster of Food Fight. Um, basically just food, arcade, everything. And we can you we don't have a puzzle engine though, but we have. Uh, I don't really know if we're gonna be using the old puzzle engine or if we. Nah, I think we're actually going to. If we're doing this, we are going to develop a skill-based engine. I'm just going to double check uh, what kind of game it actually was. <laughs> it was a skill-based game. And, uh, yeah, so everything should be good about that, at least. Great, then we'll develop the new engine for the skill-based. We'll just call it the skill engine and add all the features to it. Uh, it's gonna be a high development cost, but I, I can afford that. And let's put profit sharing at 15%, so... Meanwhile, the people who are currently not employed in in making the skill engine, they can train so that they get better at game design. Generally, buying engines from other people is not the way to go. If you can invest in making an engine yourself, that is usually the best way to do it. So there we go, we're gonna get us 
remaster of the food fight out there. And food arcade. And it's gonna be using the skill engine. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we'll just call it gold because remaster wasn't really a thing back then. So we can actually add a subgenre. Uh, but I think we're, we will not be doing that. So we're developing it for the personal computer, Nintendo Mess, the Apple Mac, and the Apple II. Uh, actually, we're not developing it for the uh, Apple II because the market share is 0.1%. Uh, meanwhile, the other ones have far better. So we're basically changing absolutely nothing here. We're just basically... Oh crap, I forgot about that one. Uh, the game size should be B+, plus, not just B. Uh, otherwise, the game will be lacking in features, and we don't want the game to be lacking in features now, do we? I mean, it's not really... Ooh, nice! We got some really nice cash out of the people making games out of the Gamla engine. Apparently, that engine was really, really popular. So it's going to be interesting to see what people will be doing with it in the future. Like I said, I really like using engines. And there's a bit of a hype around Food Fight Gold, but it's quickly dissipating. <clears throat> so let's research uh, the simulation genre, basically. We need to improve as much as we can. And speaking of improve, we need to also add improvements from that part. The problem is that wh while we are developing this game, we will not have the development spaces ready for keeping our company afloat. So it's basically just us more or less praying that... I'm thinking about uh, hiring at least another developer, and they, they seem to be good at strategy and fighting. Uh, actually, more keen on hiring a good programmer, or rather a good game designer, so you get to be in there. And no new contract work will be done, and you can help out with the improvements. No, we're not going to <coughs> release the game right now. <coughs> Sorry about that. That was not my intention. So, we shall wait until the simulation is done, and then we are going to finish improving everything, and then hopefully, 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 we are in a good position. But like I said, at least the game has some hype, so we are going to have to research features, more features, and we don't have enough money for that, so fuck it. I mean, we don't even have researched 8-bit sound, and maybe we actually should do that. I mean, just... But then again, we are a very small studio, so we are going to have a bit of a problem keeping up, because really the big box is in... Uh, basically half of stuff. Uh, selling the engine and everything like that is nice, but people doesn't really make that much money out of games at this stage. So, we're having a big problem here. We are already minus money. I am <coughs> convinced that Food Fight will actually sell enough to put us back on our feet, but... Uh, apparently that wasn't necessary because right now we actually got... So we're gonna research 256 color support. And you get to remove the bugs. And once the bugs are removed, we should be in a position where the game can be safely 
at least. And we are good, so we'll find a publisher that's into skill-based games. I don't know if there even is any anyone anymore, but <coughs> Blue Ocean has been our nice partner, so we'll just release for that. Apparently, we didn't get that much better score, 65%, and at least there's some hype around it, at least, and hopefully that will help drive the sales. So, we're gonna keep researching the features. I don't really know where that horrible kind of accent came from, but let's research as much of this as we can, and then... You people, you horrible people, can start optimizing an engine as part of contract work, so we get a bit more money in here. It looks like Food Fight might actually... might actually do it. Yeah, we turned a profit with it. Not a big profit, but at least we turned a profit with it. It wasn't like the, like the previous game where we didn't get our investment back. So, test beta version, four weeks, hopefully they will be able to do that just nicely. So, we'll research the split screen multiplayer as well. We do not participate. And there's one more contract, and it, it's a good one. Takes a long time, but we're gonna get that done for them easily. So, Food Fight was taken off the market, but it sold reasonably well, so <clears throat> it's not really a problem. And now more people are licensing our engine. So, I think that apparently. Uh, puzzle skills are not really in... Arcade games are unpopular. So we will be keeping up our researching of the features and... Once that is done, I ha my intention is to... Try and revolutionize one of the new genres. Well, it's a good thing we don't have any interest. Still, it's gonna be a bit tricky, this, this thing, because right now, we need to keep up with what's been happening in games development as of late. And uh, if we have to do that, then we have the problem of not actually making games. And At the same time, I'm also a bit worried about how tiny these offices actually are. I would like to actually expand my research office, but the research office isn't used enough to warrant that. And we do not have enough money to actually move into a new office. You can, of course, start the game from an actual office. But I prefer the, the general idea of basically just going the garage route, because starting in a small office, I mean, moving out of the garage, that's kind of a big thing. So we got some profit sharing from one of our engines, and yeah, we should be able to get the design level job done quickly enough. And even more money from people who have been using our engine. And soon we are on par with what is expected in the industry. So it's done, and now we can check the genres. And if there is a specific genre we should be developing, we could be developing a economic situation or 
strategy game. Yeah, maybe strategy game. Or an adventure game, or a sports game, or a fighting game. Yeah, fighting game. I actually think w developing a fighting game could be interesting, especially if we put all our efforts into make giving it a decent engine as well. Of course, it's going to be a sizable investment, but... So we're gonna also go to make sure that we research. Uh, oh, we can't really afford that. I would have really liked to research an A-class game, but we can't afford that. So I'm going to research user interface. Oh, we're gonna get that dev kit. Uh, we're gonna get the Sega Mega Drive dev kit, or Sega Mega Station, as it's called. And we are gonna make sure to make a split-screen uh, fighting game next. And we are also gonna make sure that we can get our engine, develop new engine, and optimize for fighting games. And we're gonna call it the Doom Engine. I don't know why I'm calling it the Doom Engine, I'm, I'm just liking it. Uh, we don't need scrolling as a feature. Uh, yeah, and I don't think we need PC speaker either. We, and it's only going to be 256. So we're going to save a bit on the investment here. Yeah. yeah, I think that should be good. So, yeah, 20% profit sharing for that one. And a bit more expensive to buy since it's so technically advanced. Get to work, you slobs. And now all we ha can do is wait a bit. And, of course, we can get some contract work once that is done, but I think we are going to have to borrow money if we are going to get a game out of this. Because there is no way we can fund a game with $87. So we're going to get that composed music work just to get us a bit back on our feet. And then we are going to borrow money for uh, the next project we have no choice there's because there's no way we're gonna get the money in question so uh, let's see here we are going to borrow 50,000 and develop a game it's gonna be B plus because we can't really and a fighting game should obviously be towards teenagers. I mean, we want this to be something that people can fight. So let's go with assassins. And the main genre is going to be fighting. And I think if we mix in some arcade there, uh, we have experience with arcade. So the Doom Engine, and it's going to be called Ninja vs. Ninja vs. Rogue, basically. So it's gonna be our fighting game, it's gonna retail, B+, and it's going to be for the personal computer, it's gonna be for the Apple Mac, it's going to be for Nintendo, and it's going to be for the Sega Mega Station. That, as of yet, only have one game and basically no market share. And let's see here, we need to fix this up. I think graphics is really important, and of course, game length is even more important. Actually, I'm thinking of switching a bit even more towards graphics, but I'm not sure. Nah. Yeah, we're gonna keep it there. And of course, a good fighting game is all about functions. It's all about the moves. It's all about... And it has to be beginner-friendly as well. So, there we go. And... 
not really any balance there. Really all the balance in the world. And a good fighting game is all about the gameplay. It's it needs to be a really good gameplay experience. So we'll, we'll be, and sounds of course, I mean, you don't really remember much of Street Fighter aside from the Hadouken thing, so. And we need to remove one thing here. And we, we don't need save game support in a game like this. Uh, you don't need to save your game. It, it's just not the, the kind of game where you do that. So these people are going to get... Oh crap, we need to... I would have preferred not to have to borrow more money, but improving the gameplay will sadly require us to borrow. We are almost uh, 1 million in debt right now, and I don't want that. In fact, I really want to be the opposite, meaning I want to be not in debt. But hopefully our experience with arcade games is gonna see us through here. At least that's what I'm hoping for, as well as the fact that we are releasing it on several platforms. I don't expect this game to be the new Street Fighter, but I do hopefully expect that we are doing well enough with this game to be able to pay back our loans. And uh, I don't know if that's likely or not, but we'll see. Uh, the problem is that the more advanced a game is, the more features it has and stuff like that. So we are actually going to put some researchers on researching game mechanics so we can actually, and you are going to help research the game mechanics. The reason I want the game mechanics done now is because, ah crap, we might as well just borrow the full million. The problem is that our game right now doesn't have that much in the way of hype. Uh, but we got a license of the skill engine, so that is nice. So And there's a memory price boom, and thankfully enough we do not develop consoles. And... Uh, yeah. At some point I'm gonna try to be a console company first, but when I do that, I'm most likely gonna have to cheat or something like that, because researching, keeping up with a research console and everything like that aside, yeah, I think we're gonna research the level level design as well. Now that we have the opportunity to do so, I don't really see why we shouldn't go all out on this game. I mean, I want this game to be good. I want every single uh, advantage we can get to be with this game. I also think that a development studio comprised of so few uh, developers is starting to hurt me big time now. So we are, uh, never mind, we're not going to cancel that. We are just going to keep it up and hope that we still have money left at the end of the day. So here is hoping. And apparently LAN multiplayer was just developed and hopefully that will not be a big problem that our game lacks it because I mean fighting games is not something you play with other pe it's it's something you play with other people. Uh, oh we actually got a nice profit share from the tank platoon using the skill engine so uh, we can actually can make sure that level and game mechanics improvements are also available. That's a nice touch right there. And uh, we do not participate. We don't have the money. It would have been nice to participate just to build the hype. But I am afraid it would be... Yeah. So... 
So... All we can do now is watch our guys wait and reap in that nice cash from people who keep using our engine. I don't really know why they keep using our engine, but maybe it's because it's cheap to buy. But like I said before, the profits from engine sales does not come from the direct sales of them actually buying the engine. It comes from them developing games with it. The 10k bonus you get he here and there, they're basically just a bonus. So the game is 80% done and our quality assurance department is actually keeping pace pretty handily here. And more money from engines. Nice. We got just gonna hammer out all the bugs in an upcoming, not really an upcoming patch. I mean, there is absolutely no reason, absolutely none whatsoever, why you should ever, and I mean ever, try to um, try to. Uh, Uh, release a game without uh, with, with bugs. There's absolutely no excuse to releasing games with bugs So it's time for us to Well, the game is actually done and we do not want to release it right now We're just gonna wait for the quality assurance office to get their part of the stuff done and once that is done we're gonna clear out the bugs and we should hopefully be in a better spot. So, once they cleared out the... Uh, apparently this guy... Ooh, more money. Nice. Uh, I'm going to get a... Let's see here. Uh, Miss Cancalanius. And we're going to get a first aid. The first aid cabinet's going to be there. And I think that we're actually going to add... A ceiling fans into these offices as well and we're gonna add a copy machine as well so that uh, work is improved and let's see if we can add can add something that's actually also very helpful they can get billboards there we go hopefully this will make them a bit more happier Ah, more money from engines. And I think we are actually going to repay uh, some of our bank loans with that profit. I don't really know why you haven't actually visited. Uh, I don't really know why he gets that sign over his head. But I kind of hope... Oh, we actually had uh, quite a lot of uh, first aid cabinets already, so... Maybe you just want to, to go to, to the toilet. I mean, if there's something our office lacks, it's clearly toilets. So all we have to do now is get it done. The problem is that this game is delayed. Uh, it took a longer time in development than I had anticipated and it's already I mean the new 16-bit uh, console is already out but thankfully yeah we can release it now they will find a publisher with a focus on fighting games if there is any any left basically So apparently there's none that actually have fighting games left, but we'll try Infcoms because they have a decent, uh, they'll have a decent share, so we'll get money for it. Oh, this game was actually highly recommended. Uh, the controls define perfection. These are the best controls I've seen in a game. The gameplay is very well done. There isn't much to complain about. This game turned out really well. I highly recommend this game. So 84% with four consoles. Hopefully mean good sales. And 
hopefully also a lot of money in the first week. So we are also going to make sure that we take on some work and then we are also gonna repay all our credit in one fell swoop. We actually made the money back in three weeks. Nice. Ninja vs. Rogue was apparently a huge success. So we are going to buy a dev kit. And uh, let's see here. Where is... Uh, there we have it. We're gonna do something that I consider a bit scummy right now. Do not participate. Uh, we are gonna research at least one more feature. We're gonna research 16-bit sound. And then we're gonna upgrade. Ooh, we actually passed the million. And the game's still selling. Like hotcakes. You can create an intro while we wait, because I have a master plan here. It's truly a devious plan, a good plan, that is going to hopefully make us even more money. We'll see about that. So Men Without Eyes got us a few, a few small bucks. I, I can give that to my developers as a signing bonus or stuff like that. Actually, right now, looking at a new building is actually not within, without, uh, w w uh, out of our reach. But I'm actually going to research this first. I mean, that game has sold, us almost, sold for almost 2 million at this point. So apparently Ninja vs. Rogue was a popular title. So, just... Keep it up with that work, and hopefully, we should be in a good position. And once the 16 bits upgrades are done, I think you know what's coming. Because we are gonna do something very, very sc Oh, it's sold for 1.79 million. We're gonna improve the. Let's see here, where is the. Our fighting engine was called the, the Doom engine, and we're gonna upgrade it with 8 bits. Uh, with 16 bit sounds. And it's gonna be even more expensive now, just because it's... So, we're just improving the Doom engine at this point. And we did not game, get Game of the Year, sadly. It would have been really nice if we could get uh, that. But now we're gonna do something very, very horrible indeed. We're gonna make a sequel. We're gonna make a sequel to the Ninja vs. Rogues, and we're changing absolutely nothing. Uh, game size is still going to be B+, and stuff like that, so we're gonna develop it for the personal computer, with the Sega Mega Station, the Nintendo SMS, and the uh, Apple Mac. So we're not developing it for the Nintendo MES this time around. We're basically just changing absolutely nothing. I think we get, might actually add a German and German and Spanish and Russian as languages. But aside from that, not changing anything. And we're ju just removing save game support. And this time it's just going to be, you know, upgraded visuals and upgraded sound. So uh, I just realized I forgot to name it the game. So we're basically just calling it Ninja vs. Rogue 2 Revenge. And we're, we're not putting in a, a uh, subtopic there. Everything looks good. Uh, I actually think we might add, be adding Japanese, Chinese. Uh, yeah. 
so a bit more languages and basically just overall support so you guys get to improve the gameplay and the thing is the very evil thing here is now we have hype behind us meaning that the next game might actually sell even more and I don't really know if people during this era was more forgiving to repeating titles, but I'm kind of hoping they will be because, uh, I mean, just count how many versions Street Fighter 2 was released as. I mean, Street Fighter 2 got released in a fuck ton of versions, so right now we are going to complete this game and once it's completed i yeah we probably should keep keep stuff up here with our so once it's done we will most likely use whatever profits we get from basically copy pasting our game and well i feel bad saying it's just a copy paste because what we've actually done and done well is that we've actually improved it from an 18 bit 8 bit to a 16 bit so the sequel will at least be taking advantage of uh, uh, taking advantage of the fact that uh, the, the Sega Mega Drive is is uh, 16 bit as well and hopefully, by the time this game is actually done, the game, the entire thing will have sold well enough in order, well, I'm basically doing guesswork here, but I think I sh I want at least another person on the staff, but sadly it doesn't seem that, I mean, why does he want a 9 minimum quality of the office? Uh, when he's not really that much better than the other two guys. So, we're basically not gonna hire anyone new right now. Okay, so they want plants, and hey, after the, after the last title, I can actually... Yeah, plants improve the atmosphere. Nice. So, we're gonna get some propagators. There we go. You got plants. And be happy. Don't worry, be happy. So, if we actually can get a new office after this... We are going to have a really nice time with it. We are going to expand our development and uh, quality control departments. So, I got stuck in a discussion on how to pronounce Endor. So, if you're tuning into this, the person I'm having the debate with, the way you pronounce Endor, at least the way I learned it, is Endor. We'll see about that. Uh, well, at least our improvements of the game is proceeding rapidly, and we're basically just digging into... We're st still staying over the million, so we can basically just self-fund this game. But then again, all we're doing is pumping money in into this. And uh, we'll see if that is, that's the right way to do it. Hopefully it is. But I'm a bit worried about how quickly time actually passes, because I really want to keep up with current trends but and another thing when we get the new office these people are gonna okay so now they want heaters as well when we get the new office uh, we are gonna make sure that we get the better desks okay so a bit of electrical heating there we go
hopefully all that's happened since uh, we started developing this game is that the 16-bit consoles have taken off. And taken off in a big way. So keep researching those features. I'm actually gonna make sure I cancel research and automatically research the rest, the next ones. I mean, two people working on this, it's not enough. Well, I don't really have much to say at the moment, so let's see if we can at least hire someone. Yeah, we're gonna t hire this guy, Teddy Howards, and have him help out with... So now we have six stuff, meaning we can actually fill all the rooms at the same time. And we are below the million again. I don't really like that, but at least uh, this game is funded and good to go. So right now, the only way we're losing money is actually... <laughs> is research and uh, basically everything else. Ooh, nice! He managed to improve the graphics. Pay raise for you, laddie. So you people can start removing the bugs that are bound to crop up. And once that is done, hopefully we can get the game out to the wider audience. The nice thing is that so much time has passed that they might actually not realize it's basically the same game. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Um, yeah, we're actually going to display Ninja vs. Rogue and hope to push. So we gained almost 5,000 fans. That's nice considering we only had a limited amount. And we had a bunch of visitors and now the hype is up to 40. And we can benefit from that hype because uh, once the bugs are quashed, we can release this almost immediately. The bugs just need to go away, and hopefully our developers can do that quickly enough. I don't think I have the best guys available in my quality assurance team, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I was gonna switch their places, but it, sadly it doesn't seem to be working that way. Come on, hurry up. I want this out in 1992 at least. So you are going to get to research an A-type game while we wait. So there we go. We can release it now. We'll find a publisher. And Hasbro is into fighting. We have uh, not really as much of a share with them, but they're... Their fan base is fighting. So we got 87% on that game. That's really nice. And they didn't. They w wanted more polish on the on the graphics and sound, but we can't do that right now. And they highly recommend the game. And damn, we almost sunk a million into that game. And look at those sales figures. We got the, it's, we basically got the money back for development the first week. So, between all the hype and the actual good reviews we got, we are raking in the cash here. And it's basically just the same game upgraded to 16 bits, so... <laughs> I feel kinda bad. 
Uh, we gotta take this time to uh, research the first person shooter and... No, wait, we're actually gonna cancel that. And instead, we are gonna prep our move to a bigger office. We could get a small office building or we could get a large office building. I think we are starting off well with a small office building. And I'm just going to pause here while we establish our new office. So we're going to automatically place the objects because I right now I can actually afford it. So we're going to have a development space here. And the door is going to be there and it's going to be nice. So then we have the research department. The research department doesn't need to be as big, really. It can be a bit smaller. I'm gonna place the door down, then we're gonna place down some toilets. And then we're gonna make sure that our quality assurance section is a bit, a bit larger as well. It's not as big as I want it to be, but it's not as tiny as I want as it could be either. So we're also gonna add a staff room. I'm just gonna check where the hell there it is. There we go. It's filtered brim with consoles and stuff like that. So uh, let's see here. I also need a head office. So I can basically buy the stuff I need. So we're gonna, it's gonna be small. It doesn't need to be big. Uh, we're also adding a graphics studio. And we're also gonna try and add a music studio. But sadly, we'd, I seem to have failed on that score. Uh, let's see if we can add a production room instead. No, we can't. Um, that was a poor choice by me. Uh, we're actually going to remove the head office and we are going to add a... We're also going to remove this one actually. And we're going to add a graphic studio here. Basically as tiny as you could imagine it to be. And then we're going to add a music studio here. It's also very tiny. Then we'll add... I wonder if I should get a production room. Because the thing is, if I get a production room, I can actually do production contracts. And that is an increased source of revenue. Uh, but I also think, yeah. So let's just get a... S no, we're not doing that. Instead, we're getting a very small head office. That will be... Have a door there. And then we'll have a marketing. So, this is our new office, lads. And uh, we are probably going to have to hire a bit more people for it. So, we're going to hire you, and we're going to basically hire everyone here. And the first thing you get to do is test an alpha version. Because we can probably take on better projects right now. Hopefully, with the increase in, with the better desks and stuff like that. So, meanwhile, research is gonna get to research a first-person shooter because we are gonna make a first-person shooter. We got game of the year. That's really nice. Hell, it's still selling. I mean, we got five million from that game and still fucking selling. I really should have gotten, you know, an, a bigger locale. Just invested in a bigger locale right off the bat, but I'm pretty pleased with this office. I mean, it's it's big enough. I mean, I would say that this office is actually the size of my office at work. So, apparently we did something right. So, we are gonna... Sh I'm just... Ah, crap. Uh, I didn't actually mean to move people, so... Still selling. I mean, it sold over a million units. 
a million units. That's kind of neat. Our problem right now is that uh, adding better dedicated graphics and stuff and dedicated audio is going to take more time. So, yeah, we can hire you as well since you seem to know what you're doing. I would like someone who actually know a bit about graphics and someone that knows a bit about sound as well. So. I don't know if you you are the guy who I hired for graphical fit, graphical settings, but I kind of hope you are. And we don't have any more features to. Uh... However, I think we want you to uh, research a at least a high quality sprites, and you get to develop the new engine that's called the Shooter Engine. It's gonna be optimized for a first-person shooter. It's gonna have all the blings, bills, bells and whistles, basically including cutscenes. But it's not gonna have 8-bit sound because we don't really need that. It doesn't need scrolling either. Mm, yeah, I think I'm pretty satisfied with most of this. And the profit sharing for it is gonna be 20 because it seems like. If you go up to 25, people are just gonna say no, actually, they don't want this and stuff like that, so. So we're gonna actually research a topic here, and it's gonna be military, because our next one is gonna be military. And you can go create sound effects for another company while we wait. I mean, it's still on the market, it's still selling. Do not participate. We made six million out of that game. Six fucking million uh, let's see here um, the, we need to keep researching here uh, and I think we're actually gonna do we're just gonna get let it research on its own and we are gonna no we're gonna call this cloud 5 and if you don't understand why it's called Cloud 5, then maybe, maybe you need to take a look at what games are currently being offered by... Well, there's no such thing as Ubisoft, obviously, but... So, let's aim it at... Now, well, let's aim it at teenagers. I think it's actually a better idea to aim it at... And it's gonna be military, it's gonna be first-person shooter, and we don't have a subtopic. It's gonna be done by the shooter engine, it's gonna be for the personal computer, it's gonna be for the Sega Mega Station, it's gonna be for the SMS, and it's gonna be for the Apple Mac. Um, yeah. So, what defines a good first person shooter? Obviously, graphics, because graphics are the staple of pretty much any first person shooter. It should be reasonably long, obviously, and it should have a lot of atmosphere. And it should obviously be rather beginner friendly, so it's basically easy to learn, difficult to master. I mean, it's pretty much a game where you just shoot a gun after all. So, the, despite that, we're not gonna spend all that much time with the graphics. Instead, we are focusing a lot of efforts on the sounds. Of course, technology is good as it is, and gameplay a little bit more. There we go. And we'll just release it in every conceivable language. And we need... Now it's getting a bit more difficult. Because I don't think I want... Really want... I can't make up my mind what I need to cut here. Because I want most of this stuff to be... Uh, we'll skip the level editor. 
the game doesn't need to have a level editor. So you get to improve the sounds. Oh wait, we haven't actually researched any way for you to do that. Uh, you get to add high quality sprites. You people get to improve the gameplay. There's a video game boom right now, meaning stuff sells a lot of be a lot better. But uh, we're gonna need to hire more people here. So you and someone who's decent in graphics. Sadly, all we get get right now is, and we're gonna start a marketing campaign for Cloud Five, and we'll start off with you know local magazines. This person have not found a place to be. Get back here. We're dismissing you since you can't find a work. If you're at my office, you need to work. Ah, crap. I started automatically on uh, AA and AAA games, but I can actually live with that right now, but it's not what I want them to research. I want them to research the improvements for for audio and the graphics studios. So we're actually going to cancel that, uh, research others, and you get to re... There we go. The Apple II was taken off the market. Most likely because it, it's only value right now would be as an office computer. And it's still surpassed by the modern machine. So, right now we're focusing on the realistic sa uh, audio effects. And let's see here, create a marketing campaign. We're gonna go for the International Game Magazine as well, so we're gonna create a bit more hype for that game. We have a fully staffed office at least, so that's always something. But we seem to have a bit of a problem creating actual hype for the game, and I don't... I feel that's a bit worrying. So what's gonna happen right now is that um, I'm basically just gonna sit here and wait and see how this game goes and then the stream is over. Uh, so we can improve all overall graphics quality, let's do that. I'm basically just gonna spend all the money I can into this. Of course, the shader support feature just appeared. Uh, same thing with high res 256, but hey, there's always there's always uh... there's always a remaster to make, right? So the automa automa automated research. I think we actually have to stop the automated research because I think it's gonna bankrupt us if this continues. I think all, all we can do right now is... Oh crap, the game station just got released. I'm just gonna check if we actually managed to... No? Most of that stuff is already done, or... Yeah. So we'll create another marketing campaign this time for... Yeah, just international game magazines can... No, I don't want to publish the game right now. I want to be done with the game before we publish it. <laughs> the 
the quark engine. Someone watched too much Deep Space Nine. So we pretty much spent as much, too much money on. Yeah, so we got a bunch of hype from our attendance at the gaming convention. So. So, just remove the bugs and we are good. Stop automatization because the hype is at a reasonable level. And hopefully that should be that. Once the bugs are quashed, we can release the game. But I really like the new office. I mean, it has staff room, it has toilets, it's not a garage, so... Oh crap, we need to... We need to get back on it with these features. Not that it will affect, affect the game we're currently re releasing, but hey. So, do you people think this game is actually going to be something, or is it going to be a big pile of failure? Because, I mean, we just threw so much money into this shit. Hopefully, hopefully, we are actually going to at least get our money back, but... We can only find out once the bugs are gone. Less than 100 bugs to go, and development on this one is really stretching out. I know that games take a long time to make, but hell, this is ridiculous. So we're not getting any any uh, Game of the Year awards, but that might be because we haven't released any games. Of course, there is a, can always be that kind of developer who always releases small-time titles and stuff like that. But uh, I never found that to be that much fun. I mean, you can always release a game that's not a AAA, but still. The virtual joy. Yeah, we're not going to develop anything for that. So we're publishing the game. We're going to find a publisher, preferably one that's actually into. Sierra Games have a first-person shoot fan base, and we are pretty good with the Sega Mega and the Nintendo SMS. We're developing a... Ooh, 79, just short of gold. That means... I'm not sure if we're going to get our money back or not. Hopefully we will. So, uh, strong sales out of the gates, and at least some of our money back. Uh, yeah, we're doing alright with sales here. And we turned a profit. Nice. And the game has almost sold for a million, that's great news. So we're going to create a marketing campaign, and we're not going to put it on automatic repeat, but we're going to basically get some radio out there, try and make people, get more people to buy the game, increase the hype. And there we go. We made 2 million out of that game. That's not bad sales. Not bad at all. And there's now an economic crisis, so I'll just save the game at save game 3. And we are gonna quit the game, because I've been at it for about an hour right now. And, I mean, 
There's only so much of this game I can take if we're, I'm going to be perfectly honest about it. Uh, it's a it's a really nice game, but more than an hour at a time gets tedious in the long run. So catch you guys later and hope you enjoy the stream.